listening to this? Ask not for whom the bell tolls, Terry. It tolls for the independent entrepreneur. The man who would one day be Arthur Daly was raised in Tooting in South London. He left home at 14, landed some work acting in London and Blackpool, and then appeared in the film Cottage to Let. Lousy organisation. Look here, Sonny. You must never use that word. Appearing alongside him was Alistair Sim, the man who became his mentor, looking after him, guiding his acting and helping him lose his Cockney accent. George Cole returned to acting after his time in the RAF and there was success on the radio with Life is Bliss, a romantic lead role in a movie with a young Joan Collins, and then he emerged with one of the defining roles of his career. You ain't gonna make a fortune on that, are you? The Spiv, Flash Harry, from the St Trinian's films. Again, he appeared alongside Alistair Sim. Do you mind telling me what you do, do? I tried. Gin, nylons, anything. Really? In his long career, he appeared in the epic Cleopatra and many other parts on TV and stage. In recent years, he starred in sitcoms such as Dad. But his biggest success came with the creation of Arthur Daly in Minder. I hadn't even seen a script. I just saw the format. And it said Arthur Daly was firmly behind the Home Secretary about crime and punishment. His favourite film was The Godfather, and he dresses like a dodgy member of the Citizens Advice Bureau. That's all I needed. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Ah, pleased to meet you, Mr Morgan. Arthur Daly. He didn't sound Welsh, did he? He seemed like a nice chap. He may have been a little shady, but George Cole had the ability to take a dodgy car dealer and make him a folk hero.